Good morning. Just got through grocery shopping. Ouch! God almighty. Woo! I used to be able to go in and out of the grocery store and get everything I needed for 50 bucks. Jeez. Have things gone up? Yes. Everything. I mean, they didn't just pick out a few single items. All, oh, everything has gone up. I mean, my beer's gone up, my wine's gone up, my chips have gone up. Jeez, come on. Ain't you got no manners? <laughs> God dang, man. Yeah, uh, if you're living on a, a fixed income, then uh, you're, you're uh, stretching your dollars, aren't you? But anyway, yeah, I got some groceries at HEB in Del Rio, Texas right here, and I'm headed back to Brackettville, but just wanted to let you know that things are a little expensive gasoline as you can see is $2.95 a gallon for a regular unleaded which is I guess good got a big old concrete truck right in front of us here so anyway guys for those of you that are watching your budget uh, I guess you're gonna have to get out a magnifying glass and what I would recommend for those of you that do a lot of these little monthly things like Netflix and whatever else, Hulu, Doodoo, you know, even uh, Amazon and uh, uh, Prime and uh, YouTube, whatever they call it, Prime or Red or something. Yeah, you get all those little monthlies out there that, you know, are like $6 here, $8 there, $10 there. And the next thing you know, you spend a couple of hundred bucks on some things you may or may not be using that frequently so who knows maybe you need to re-examine that but yeah the prices were shocking i mean my grocery bill today was 102 dollars and is that enough for how long oh probably two weeks yeah close close but anyway here we go we're gonna have a ziggy on here del rio texas on a what thursday morning yeah thursday morning and i would i want to say this too you know if getting close to thanksgiving uh, and the shopping the number of people shopping has increased by 50 percent you know and they're playing the christmas music you know rudolph the red nose whatever you know and happy holidays does that work does that work playing that music hell yeah it does i was at uh a Club Med, Club Mediterranean in Mazatlan, Mexico, many, 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 many years ago. It was a singles thing, a French corporation called Club Med. But anyway, I was there for, well, I ended up being there two weeks. <clears throat> but anyway, before every meal, like the breakfast meal, they had a two hour window, the noon meal, they had a two hour window, and the evening meal, a two hour window, you know, to go and get your meal but before they started serving right about that time they would play music and you could hear it all over the resort and so yeah did it work hell yeah i mean when they started playing that music your stomach started growling you know i mean it was uh uh yeah we can be programmed don't think we can't are we sure hell we're, we're no better than field mice I mean, geez, you know, you put out food uh, for us at the same place every day, uh, and you come back the next day, we're there. You know, same way with anything, you know. But, yeah, it works. I guarantee you it works. And what it's programmed us to do is buy stuff. Remember George Carlin and his deal on stuff? Yeah, well, check that out because... I've got too much stuff now. I know it, but anyway, I'm just chatting on here, guys, because it's a, a cool day. It's about 50 degrees now, and it's 10:14 uh, a.m. And I got a 184 mile range on my electric vehicle, my Chevy Bolt 2LT 2022, and we're okay. So, having said that, I just wanted to. You know, it's called sticker shock, I guess. Another thing I noticed, too, I guess this is true at every grocery store in the whole world now. Uh, whenever they're ringing your stuff up, if you go to where there's a checker and not the self-checkout, uh, they go so fast, you can't see uh, how much you're charging. You're getting charged, you know? So, uh, 
what you have to do is when you get through, you got to take your receipt and uh, examine it to be sure you didn't get charged uh, three times for the same item. And has that ever happened? Yeah. Or the item they charge you for is not the same, or the amount they charge you is not the same as what it was on the shelf where you got it. And that happens frequently. Well, I say frequently. Yeah, maybe once every two shopping sprees. So always check your receipt. That may help you save a few bucks. Yeah, and always get a receipt. Why? Well, because you just should. You, know, you never know. I mean, I, I used to do audits years ago on co companies, retail outlets and stuff. And yeah, what uh, salespeople would do, they call it padding the register. What they would do is uh, they would uh, ring up zero, you know, and the, you know, the customer didn't get a receipt. So, you know, they pad the register. You know, and at the end of the day, they just give themselves a nice little raise. You know, does that hurt the store? Uh, it can. Yeah, it can. But be that as it may, it's a beautiful day in Del Rio, Texas, headed to Brackettville. Beautiful in the sense that it's it's a fall day. This is a fall day. 54, well, it's 54 degrees now. And a uh, little cool, a little chilly. I've got the uh, temperature on the inside of the car set at 68. I've got uh, the... A heated seat being heated and the heated steering wheel being heated and yeah that's pretty neat I, I never had that before but got it now so enough said enjoy your day enjoy your holidays coming up enjoy your weekend uh, tomorrow night we got one out no I'm doing this I'll, I'll post this probably Saturday maybe yeah we'll see how it goes I'll post it sometime I just I, I do a video and then go back and look at it and if it's okay, then I, well, okay means uh, uh, I didn't do something really dumb because I don't edit them. I mean, I, that's the only thing I do is occasionally, not, I don't look at all of them. I have to tell you that. Sometimes I post them and I don't even look at them, you know. But anyway, enjoy your day. Enjoy your uh, whatever. And uh, next week, next week is happy, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Anyway, so if you go to the grocery store now or Walmart or anywhere, you're going to hear happy holidays. You know, jingle bell, jingle bells, god dang. Anyway, it's that season, so it's okay. Adios, bye.